Breaking news out of Santa Fe, New Mexico, where they are reading the verdict in the case against the armorer on the movie set of Rust. Let's go ahead and listen in. I said, ladies and ladies and gentlemen of the jury, through the four person, have you reached a verdict? Yes. All right. And do you wish to read the verdicts? Sure. Okay. I would start with uh, count one. Oh. Okay. You have both of them. Will the defendant please stand? Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as charged in count one. We find the defendant, Anna Gutierrez, not guilty of tampering with evidence as charged in count two. All right, thank you. You may be seated. Let me get those forms, retrieve those forms from you. I'm going to do what's called polling the jury. What I need to put on the record is that this is your individual verdict, okay? So I'm going to start with the gentleman in the back. Is this your uh, verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Yes. Sir, is this your verdict? Yes. Sir, is this your verdict? Yes. Sir, is this your verdict? Yes, your Sir, is this your verdict? Yes. Sir, is this your verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Ma'am, is this your verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Okay, thank you. All right, so you've completed your service. Um, thank you so much for um, being here. It was a, it was a long uh, trial. Uh, people may want to talk to you. Um, you know, this has been pretty much a lot of publicity, and you don't have to, okay? So you can just simply say, I do not, do not wish to talk and move on, and if anybody bothers you, we've really tried to protect your privacy. If anybody bothers you, simply call um, uh, my division, and um, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, figure out what to do. But you also may talk, okay? So it's entirely up to you, okay? Um, all right, so uh, I, I, you can escort them out? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. All rise. George, just a minute. Just All right, so you just heard there from a judge in Santa Fe, New Mexico, uh, reading f the decision from the jury who deliberated for just over two hours in the case against Hannah Gutierrez, uh, the armor on the set of Rust, and they have decided that she is guilty on one count of involuntary manslaughter and not guilty on account of tampering with evidence. So right, you are see seeing right there Hannah Gutierrez standing up. The verdict was just read. Again, she has been found guilty uh, by by a jury there in New Mexico right, that just deliberated for just over two hours. Um, if convicted, again, as she just was, found guilty on one count of involuntary manslaughter, uh, it's a fourth degree felony punishable by up to 18 months and potentially a fine of $5,000. This is her defense attorney speaking. Let's go ahead and hear what he has to say. You got a rule 5402. Uh, release pending sentencing uh, in this court's discretion under the same conditions or other conditions as this court would uh, deem necessary. Ms. Gutierrez has been on uh, conditions. She has not violated those conditions. She has voluntarily appeared at all court proceedings. Um, Your Honor, I would request this court to continue conditions or whatever conditions this court would, would have on release. 
All right, thank you. I'm going to remand you, and the reason why I'm going to remand you is you are now convicted. And so, um, and this is a death. It's an, uh, uh, a criminal negligence, but it's still a death. And so, uh, deputies, you're going to take her into custody, and we will set a sentencing date. What is the best, uh, what, what do you want to look like on that? And we need an order of remand, do we? Hey. Thank you. Okay. Uh, counsel? Uh, in terms of the sentencing date? Yes. At, 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 at the court's convenience will be available. Um, there are two weeks in May that I'm unavailable. Those are the last two weeks of May. All right. Mr. Bowles. Your Honor, as soon as uh, this court has time, we will be available. All right. So uh, do you have any conflict like that? She said May. Do you have any conflict? I don't know uh, for sure, Your Honor, that I could. I do have other trials, but I think mid-May. Well, I can do it sooner. Okay. I just wonder if you had any conflicts along the way. I doesn't look like mid-May, Your Honor. I, I do. I don't think I have any conflicts. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, not understanding. Do you have? Okay, we're in March. Do you have? Do you have? Or do you have time before May? We have time in April. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay. All right. Anything else before the court? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. No, All right, thank you. We're in recess. Okay, so again, you're seeing there uh, Hannah Gutierrez, who was the armorer on the set of Rust, who has, who has just been convicted on one count of involuntary manslaughter. Uh, the judge there in New Mexico has ordered her to be taken into custody, and that is what they are doing right now. You see a law enforcement officer there. Uh, attempting to open the door uh, as they try to take her into custody. She removed her jewelry uh, and gave it to folks uh, there in the courtroom with her. You can see family members there uh, very distraught. Uh, as that verdict was read. Uh, again, this was about a two-week trial uh, for the armor on the set of Rust. Uh, again, this, of course, all is involving the uh, fatal shooting of Helena Hutchins, who was the cinematographer on that movie, and it was Alec Baldwin that was holding the gun uh, that went off that resulted in the death of Helena Hutchins, and he himself has a trial that is coming up this summer. Uh, but you see there the precedent has now been set that the armor the 26-year-old armorer on the set of the movie Rust has just been found guilty of one count of involuntary manslaughter. So she's been taken into custody. Uh, they will set a sentencing date. Uh, that will be happening here in the coming months. And uh, she could be facing up to 18 months uh, in prison and a fine of some $5,000. And this is a case that we have been watching very, very closely as it has played out there uh, in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, for more on this, I want to bring in our ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer to talk about this. So, Brian, thank you so much for being here with us. And, and first of all, uh, as we just watch this come in, so let's break this down together. Uh, she was facing a couple of counts, or one of them of involuntary manslaughter, but also another count of tampering with evidence. She was not found guilty on that. Um, but first, I'd love to hear your take on how quickly the jury came to this conclusion, deliberating for just over two hours. Well, Eva Kena, I'm, I'm not too surprised at the speed in which they came with this verdict. Uh, the way the prosecution presented this case with the scene at the rest set just being sloppy in so many ways and negligence on every turn, it made sense for them to just walk through the different elements and come to that conclusion. I think for the tampering with evidence charge, it also made sense for the not guilty because they couldn't prove that that cocaine, that alleged cocaine that was handed off to a co-worker was in fact cocaine. It was tossed out. So there's some reasonable doubt there. And also, I'm not quite sure the theory it works itself that they're tampering with evidence by handing over that baggie. And so the, the verdict makes sense to me here. But ultimately, she's potentially serving 18 months in prison. Uh, but by beating that second charge, saves himself for another 18 months. And what did you think that was the prosecution's strongest argument here, Brian? We saw this play out in court. I mean, they had pictures that they said showed live rounds versus, you know, dummy rounds. They talked a lot about her negligence in handling the weaponry and the artillery as well. And then her, her defense team sort of said, you know, she's a young kid that, that had too much on her plate. Yeah, that's, that's not enough 
uh, for not guilty. It, it's enough maybe to garner some sympathy, but clearly the jury looked at this very analytically and said, I see negligence here. I see bullets that could be easily distinguished between dummies and lives. I can see people holding guns in positions that they shouldn't be. And I think that was enough to say there's negligence at the scene. There's negligence on the hands of, uh, of this armorer and she needs to be found guilty. And Brian, what do you think, how does this pave the way now for Alec Baldwin's trial that will be happening this summer? Because of course he was the lead actor, but he was also the producer on this movie as well. Uh, what do you, what kind of precedent do, do you think this sets for his trial? I think that's exactly the issue, the fact that he's a co-producer. This whole scene was chaotic, and that's going to play into his trial. But add on top of that, the video we saw of him yelling at people, as well as the fact that he was the final person to have the gun in his hand, that's going to lead to a very bad or potentially bad result for his case. All right. I know we'll be all watching this very, very closely. But again, Hannah Gutierrez has been found guilty on one count of involuntary manslaughter, and she will be sentenced in the coming months. Brian Buckmeyer, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.